everybody, it's Gregorio from FYI Tokyo, and uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, for those of you who are new here, thanks for coming. For those of you who've been around for a long time, thanks for watching again. I can't believe that I've been making content on YouTube for 10 years. Um, of course, it's been on and off again, and um, I come and go, but um, I'm still around, and I still want to make videos. It's just sometimes it's hard to keep making content, um, especially because, you know, my original plan was to make content on Japan, but over the past decade, of course, there's been an influx of people, YouTubers, who've come in and they cover so much of things in Japan. So if you've been watching my channel, or if this is the first time you're watching, a lot of times I focus on snacks because in Japan, snacks, there's always a new snack, some variation, something new, something um, revolutionizing. And today, I don't know if it's revolutionizing or not, but it's something interesting. So, I'm starting off with here. It's just popcorn. It's by Frito-Lay. Okay, Frito-Lay, you know, potato chips and Fritos. And in Japan, there's no Fritos, which I'm still very angry about. But there's still, like, Lay chips and whatever. But this brand, Frito-Lay. And they have this brand of popcorn called Mike. It's very whatever popcorn it's nothing special and they're no they're most known for this butter shoyu so shoyu soy sauce so it's butter and soy sauce flavored popcorn now this is not the special thing of why i'm making this video the reason why i'm making this video is because sometimes you know companies like to cross collaborate with each other and today i'm coming to you with this it is Mike's butter shoyu, butter soy sauce flavored wonton soup noodles. So, you know, like cup of noodles, but this is supposed to be wontons, but it's supposed to be popcorn. I don't know if it's popcorn with butter and soy sauce, or it's just butter soy sauce, but this is an odd mixed collaboration. That's why I have to cover this. It's, it's, an, it's an oddity. Do you want popcorn flavored noodles? I don't know. Is it gonna taste good? Possibly not. But I wanna try it out. So let's try to open this up and check it out. Okay, so here is just some standard wonton dried noodles and a flavor pack. So of course, I don't know the flavor through this. So let's kind of open this and see. Oh, that definitely smells like butter. Or at least like movie theater butter. Hmm, I don't know if I'm gonna like this or not. Let's uh, heat up some water and try it out. I'll be right back. So after that quick cut, heat up some water and put it into the soup bowl. And it's really weird, there's the amount of seasoning that went into this tiny soup bowl is like the same amount that you put into the big cup. So I'm kind of scared how much flavor there's gonna be. But first, from the original flavoring, let's try out the popcorn so we can taste test it against the wonton noodle soup. Yeah, this is, well, this definitely has more of a popcorn, popcorn smell, of course, of course it's popcorn. And it's more brownish, you probably can't see it in the camera, but it's more brownish because of the soy sauce that's added to this. But let's taste it out. Yep, definitely that kind of fake butter taste with the soy sauce. It's not bad, but it's not great. It's not one of my favorites. It's not something that I would usually choose to pick to buy. But now, let's get some chopsticks here. And again, we're going to try the Mike's wonton uh, soup butter and soy sauce flavored soup. Let me stir it up. I don't know if I can show it to the camera because, you know, this is full. 
I mean, we see anything in here? Okay, so there was freeze dried corn. I don't know if that's supposed to give the popcorn flavoring to it, but uh, the packet was definitely supposed to be the butter and soy sauce. And then there's a the little wonton, which I guess, I don't know if they're freeze dried or super fried or what. But first let's taste the wonton. Nothing special there at all, but I think it's a soup that's definitely going to be there because I don't know if I taste the butter or not, but let's taste the soup. There is some butter taste, but surprisingly, the taste is not that strong. You figure how much seasoning that had to go into this. This would have a super buttery, or at least soy sauce taste, but... That's hot. It's not bad. It's not bad. But... It definitely is not popcorn. So... Mm. And on the packaging here... The packaging here was saying... So the wonton and soy sauce um, for this company, they've been doing for 25 years. And the Mike's popcorn, 60 years? That says 60 years. 60 years? How? Has Frito-Lay been in Japan that long making that flavor? That's kind of weird, 60 years? And then they've only had this wonton for only 25 years? Anyways, um, if I'm going to pick either or, I probably would actually just go with the soup version because this the taste is not as strong compared to the actual like popcorn version. The popcorn version, the taste is much stronger. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of it. So, I'll probably eat some of that. I don't know if I'm going to finish that, but I'll definitely finish this cup. I'll finish this soup here. And, um, yeah. So, would I recommend to get this? Probably not, because it's nothing special. It it seemed like it was going to be special because it's this collaboration of popcorn and soup, which you never think you're going to like, let's put popcorn and soup together. Yes, that's a great idea. Have we just run out of ideas in Japan of what we're going to collaborate with? Anyways, um, if you're interested in seeing more videos, taste tests, and stuff like that, please leave a like. Please comment. I'd like to hear from you guys. Um, of course, there's that red button there that you can subscribe to. And um, yeah, Mike's popcorn flavored soup wontons. And this is Gregorio from FY Tokyo. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.